viewers you're welcome to my youtube video today i'm always delighted to have you anytime i see you watching my video it gives me lots of joy okay today i'll be solving two problems that will take you through current electricity and um, in this problem you see the resistance of a given wire the length of the wire the resistivity signified by rho and then the cross-sectional area of the wire and these four uh, parameters are uh, inculcated in the resistivity equation in ways that the resistance is equal to the product of the resistivity multiplied by the length and inversely proportional to the area the cross-sectional area of the wire okay i'll read out the first question calculate the length of a constant wire of diameter 0.4 millimeters and resistivity 5 ohm meters required to construct a standard resistor of resistance 35 ohms pi is to be taken as 22 divided by 7. in the second question the resistance of a wire of length 55 centimeters and diameter 0.06 centimeters is 5 ohms calculate the resistivity of the wire of the material of the wire pi is also given as 22 divided by 7. to solve the first question i'll write out the resistivity equation resistance equal to the product of the resistance i mean re the resistance equal to the product of the resistivity and the length and inversely proportional to the area in the question i was given the diameter of the constant wire to be 0.4 millimeters if i convert this to meters i will divide this by 1000 and this boils down to 0.0004 meters and then i was given the resistivity rho to be 5 ohm meters okay now in the problem i was also given the resistance to be 25 ohms but the length of the wire is not known and that's what i am expected to calculate okay because the diameter of the wire was given so i can comfortably say that the cross-sectional area of the wire is circular in nature so the area of a circle is pi d squared divided by four okay if i substitute if i substitute this area into this resistivity equation the resistance will now be equal to 4 rho l divided by pi d squared if i make l subject of the formula l will now be equal to the product of pi d squared and the resistance of the wire divided by 4 multiplied by the resistivity okay now plugging in the values of pi d r and rho in this uh, expression i'll have pi is 22 divided by 7 the diameter is 0 0.0004 to the power of 2 and then the resistance of the constant wire is 25 ohms and the denominator and i have 4 multiplied by the resistivity and the resistivity is 5 ohm meters if i solve this using my calculator it boils down to 0 0.0000062871 meters and in standard form it will be 6.28713 times 10 to the power of minus 7 meters okay now if i round this number to the to to one decimal place it becomes 6.3 times 10 to the power of minus 7 meters okay that brings me to the end of the first problem now the second problem is synonymous to the first just that in the second problem i'm expected to find the uh resistivity of the wire okay using the same formula the resistivity equation the resistance is proportional to the resistivity and the the product of the resistivity and the length and inversely proportional to the area the cross-sectional area of the wire okay in this problem i was given the length to be 75 centimeters converting 75 centimeters to meter I would, to meter i'll divide it by 100 and that boils down to 0 0.75 meters okay now the diameter was given to me as 0.06 centimeters to convert this to meters i'll divide it by 100 and that boils down to 0.0006 meters okay the, re the resistance of the wire was given to me as 9 ohms and then the resistivity is unknown okay the cross-sectional area of the material of course is uh is circular the cross-sectional area is circular in nature and the area of the circle is pi d square divided by 4. if i plug in the area into the resistivity equation the resistance will now be equal to 4 rho l 
divided by pi d squared. Now, in this problem, I'm looking for the resistivity. So I'll make resistivity subject of the equation, and it becomes pi d squared multiplied by the resistance of the wire divided by 4 multiplied by the length of the wire. Plugging in values for pi, d, r, and l, the equation will now be equal to, for pi is 22 divided by 7, d is 0 0.0006, of course to the power of 2, because I have d squared, multiplied by the radius, or rather, the resistance of the wire, which is 9 ohms. At the denominator n, I have 4, then multiply by the length of the wire is 0 0.75 meters. Now, if you point your calculator and you resolve this fraction, it boils down to 0 0.00003394290 ohm meters. In standard form, the equation will now be 3.39429 times 10 to the power of minus 6 ohm meters. Okay? Therefore, the resistivity of the wire to one decimal place is 3.4 times 10 to the power of minus 6 ohm meters. That brings me to the end of the second problem. I hope the solutions uh, to the two problems were clear enough to your understanding. If yes, kindly share your comments at the comment section. And the name of the channel is the name of the channel is Victorian STEM. If you've not subscribed, I would appreciate if you do so. Hit the subscribe button and I will sincerely appreciate it. Bye-bye.